is the continent being used as a platform to advance the agenda of all these global players? If the Trump administration is sincere about the things that it's proposed, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Then Africa benefits regardless of what the motives are. The key is going to be, was yesterday just talk or was that an actual plan that the administration plans to pursue with um, political will and force? I believe that the U.S. is going to do whatever it needs to in terms of military cooperation to protect U.S. interests. That's the first point. Second point is this. If African countries, governments, companies, um, individuals are trying to figure out how do we approach the U.S. in the Trump administration with this new Africa strategy, it's very clear. They said everything that the U.S. does, every dollar, every act, every soldier, every effort has to have a tangible benefit for American taxpayers. Now, I think in a way that that's good because it makes sure that what we're putting into Africa, money and lives and military cooperation that choose efficiently but my only issue is, is that there's some things you can't quantify. You know, protecting women's rights and human rights and promotion of democracy and, and freedom of expression, you can't quantify that with jobs and dollars. So what will be the focus of this new strategy for Africa? I think if what was said yesterday actually takes place, it would be more economic focused mm -hmm. for two reasons. One, if it's economic focused and it benefits U.S. government and companies, then that's that fits in line with President Trump's America First policy. Secondly, when it comes to having influence um, on the negotiations with, the China, with China in the trade war and with Russia on several fronts, military cooperation and humanitarian assistance isn't gonna move the needle. But if the US can demonstrate that they are taking part of the foothold that Russia and China have economically in Africa, then that might raise eyebrows with those two countries. So I think economic investment and development in as much as it helps the U.S. will be the first priority. Yeah, well, International Affairs Analyst Calvin Dark, it's been good speaking with you. Thank you for joining us on Network Africa. Thank you.